basically what we see was the AUMF happened after 9-11, right? And so with the AUMF, it shifted the idea in the American public that like the president was a person who was involved in foreign policy to the president was the person who directed foreign policy. That's really problematic because what that did was made the president a more contingent issue, right? And so once you have that very, very big contingent issue of who the president is going to be, that's what fuels this political polarization as tears so tell I'm just us. asking, would you not agree that Congress has been polarized for I would say the reason why we're so polarized right now is because coming from right now. No, I would say that necessarily because of this is more so because No, I would say the vast amount, as Tier tells us, is from the AUMF. Like, he literally says after the AUMF, the reason why we're so polarized today is because the president has become too powerful in the eyes of the public and too big of an issue. That's why there's so much, like, polarization. The spillover effect, right? That's what Tier goes on to tell you what happens is because the president is such a big issue, it fuels negative campaigning in the early stages. That's why we have a far left and a far right. We spend a lot of time on this, though, if I could ask you a question. Onto your observation, you talk about this like idea that it's too much power and we can't look at any of like the impacts, but wouldn't you agree that too much power has a negative con connotation? So we have to analyze what like the power is doing and like if it's negative. This is a thing. We're saying that the way that we see whether or not an 